It's never a bad idea to get a bit of practice in on the greens before the start of a round of golf. Especially when one putt could be the difference between which team takes home the Falklands Cup and who misses out. This year, as always, the Kelpers in red, made up of the best Falcons born players, took on the presence in blue, players born outside the islands. With the course and standing set up nicely by the greenkeepers and club groundsmen, the stage was set for lots of close matches on day one. In the morning's greensome, which sees teams play in pairs, the Kelpers came out of the blocks quickly and took a three and a half to one and a half lead. However, the presidents came roaring back in style in the afternoon. Sinking key putts and only losing one match, finishing the day five and a half, four and a half up. With the team in blue's strong afternoon form, it was clear that this year it was going to be more competitive than the previous two competitions, which had seen the Kelpers run out big winners. Day two of the Falcons Cup is always just singles matches, but with conditions deemed unplayable by the time every pairing had begun, high winds forced the tournament to be delayed until Sunday morning. But whether it is the extra day's rest or an improvement in conditions, the Kelpers returned on Sunday ready to turn things around. Throughout the morning play, the overall lead continued to switch sides, piling the pressure on the final pairings. However, a strong finish saw the Kelpers make the telling move, picking up two and a half out of the final three points on offer, with Rodney Lee winning the final match on the course and clinching the cup for a record third time in a row for his team. Final scores ending Kelpers 11, Presidents 10. Our team is always pretty strong, you know what I mean? And, but we are getting older. <laughs> but uh, like the other team, obviously, new people come in all the time, but mainly our team just stays the same, really. Only a few different players come in though. And, you know, we, yeah, we do, we've done very well to hold on today. I enjoyed it, everybody enjoyed it, in fact. Uh, and it couldn't have been closer at 11.10. Uh, we came back in the four, in the four balls uh, on day one, which brought us ahead going into the singles. Um, the presidents did a great draw for the singles, they really did. Uh, and they carried it in the end, but it was so, so close. And I thought with two, two matches out on the course, we could still swing it. But they, they, uh, they just nicked us by one point. Now, very proud of the team and the way it was all played and there was no hard feelings to, towards anyone, so it was brilliant. And yeah, it's a great club to be part of. It will now be another two years until the presidents get their chance for revenge, an attempt to break the Kelpers' history-making winning streak. A real big thank you to everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you.